Hello and welcome to beautiful Superior, Colorado. Kind of a suburb of Boulder. And here with Mark Ladwig on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. Winter, Absolutely. but it feels like fall today. It does. Beautiful 50 degrees outside. Yeah. Uh, love the intro here. I don't know if uh, you guys have been watching the feed here. First of all, thanks to Shaw Productions. Uh, so happy you can join us. If you can't be up here physically, we're happy that we can bring you the game here today. Uh, I don't know if you saw the opening sequence here, but uh, uh, just like when the pros come in, it's some spotlights. They turn the lights down, so it's kind of cool to watch that happen here before the warm-up. Very cool. Very cool. The Eagles coming off a big victory last night. A very I, physical one last night, from what I heard. And uh, yeah, some yeah. sore boys here this morning. You got to flip it right back around and uh, turn the switch back on, Gig. Thankfully, they recover very quickly, they and they'll get through they this. Do. This is why men's league games need to be about four weeks apart for me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but these guys bounce back. Yeah, they had a good game last night. 5-0 victory over Poudre Valley. A very physical team, very skilled team, too. Mm -hmm. They're good. About 95% of their hits are very clean, but they always opt for the hit. Yep. Um, yep, physical group. Uh, Monarch played last night against uh, Castleview, and they won in overtime. So that was a close game last night that uh, Monarch played. Any time you play in an overtime, obviously an extra period of time there is going to take a little extra energy out of you. So we'll see how it goes today yeah. for their squad. They lost last night to Castleview, and, but they outshot them. Yeah, I'm sorry. They, did they lose last night to Castleview? Or yeah. I, I didn't know whether they won or, or lost in overtime, so I apologize. So they did take a loss, so a little hungry today. The announcements, Carter Charles, Ronan Hirschfield, Maddox, MJ, and Eddie Chen. And Cooper Robinson. Oop. And the rest of the Valor Eagles. They get the spotlight. They do. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. sweet. All right, All here right. we go. So, quick shout out here. Uh, Bob Marie Westwater, friends in Boston, Ronan's grandparents, uh, join us for, uh, for most of our broadcasts. So, welcome. Uh, I think Grandma Norma Pankratz uh, is Cam. joining us. She's here in Castle Rock. So, I don't know if she made the trip up here, but happy to have all of you guys join us. So, again, excited for this opportunity. I don't know if Grandpa Dan's here also for Ronan. Uh, he makes a lot of the games. I don't see him out in the crowd yet, but I know at South Suburban we see him a fair amount. So greetings to all families that are joining us here. 
Okay. Ronan Hirschfield will be taking the opening draw. Cooper Robinson in the net. And the uh, Charles brothers on the wings. Eddie and MJ. Back line. Eddie chips that up the boards to the hash mark. Nine puts it towards the, tries to put it towards the slot, but that was blocked. Five comes out with it. Now Maddox picks that puck up and has to go to the side of the net. And Eddie Chen making sure there's not too many digs on Cooper. Yeah, Gee, we are blessed with some good goaltending. Last night, True played an outstanding game. Shut out. Um, sounds like it was it was a great game last night. Very physical, but uh, True played fantastic. Yeah, thanks. He was he was he was on fire and uh, enjoying enjoying the moment. So, and uh, we are truly blessed to have two really good goalies. And uh, besides all the other positions out there, but it helps to have two rather than one. For sure. For sure. And that's way better than zero. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so here we go. It squirts out of the zone, and they put it right back. Carter Charles takes a swipe at it, bounces up. Eddie Chen's in there battling. MJ Ladwig goes back, gets his net, looking for an opening lane, just passes it back to Eddie. That gives them time and space. Eddie shakes and bakes a little bit on number five. Chips it up, but that went over Maddox's stick. A little close. Nice poke there by Eddie Chen. Now Maddox looking, sends it up the boards. Oh, he's looking for Ronan down the right-hand side. Carter Charles comes back on a nice back check. And now here comes Maddox the other way. Puts the puck up and goes, grabs it. Gets across the line. Gets ready for the hit. And uh, Carter picks that puck up. Maddox chips it forward. Always so good with that stick, stick lift at, at the exact right time. Comes out. And uh, Nikitu, who had a breakout game yesterday, in my opinion. Played fantastic. Yeah. Comes out. Out to Nikitu. Going. Just puts it deep. Lost the handle. And that was a smart play. Comes up the other side. And Jack, actually, A.J. Harris comes, picks that up, sends it down to the Monarch and the Coyotes. Coyotes. Yes. Yeah. Coming back on their own blue line. Knocked out of the air by Drew Jenkins. I'm sure Drew's grandpa's watching in Boston. We're going to have an opportunity to go to uh, celebrate a little Christmas cheer. And Oh, comes Ooh, out. Boy, that was a quick whistle. We were fortunate on that <laughs> yeah. one. Uh, Coop did not have a hold of that. It bounced back out, and the referee blew the whistle. He he acknowledged that he uh, lost sight of that puck. So yeah. it was a very fast whistle. If you're a Coyote fan, you probably thought it was too fast. Oh, yeah. It was, it was still yeah. approaching. So... Okay, 22's taking the draw against Drew Jenkins. Drew uh, trying to win this towards the boards. It is one back by the Coyotes. They put a shot on, easily stopped, Ooh, seeing the whole way. 22 comes in, making sure that there's not a rebound to be had. Quentin Labette making sure, and as, as was MJ Ladwig. Coop looking sharp. Absolutely. Sharp early, that's always what you want from a goalie. Oh, First yeah. couple of shots, get the butterflies out. Yep. It kind of knocks them out. Okay, they're battling beneath us. Quint Labette puts the big body down, down there, protects the puck. Nice work, Q. MJ also helping out down there. And MJ, I'm sorry, Maddox has it, gets it over to Ronan. Ronan takes it around across the slot, goes down. 20 picks that up. And uh, they bounce it out of the zone. It's, it would have been a high stick on, on Maddox, but... Coyotes touch it first, gets it over to Carter. Carter sends it down. Now they'll go back behind the Coyotes cage. Carter chasing hard. Comes out, squirts out to the far corner, and Maddox picks that up. Trying to get it through a couple, couple sets of skates. Maddox gets put down, and now they send it in. No ice, and Carter will be the first man chasing there. Going in, forces that first pass. They get it up, 55 sends it around. Coop. Getting out there quickly and stopping it. Gets it right to Cole Campbell. Cole Campbell dropped it, but nobody was there quite yet. So now they're back behind the eagle cage again. Looking, they reverse. Comes out to 86 on the point. Carter Charles takes the body on 86. Goes down. Looks like the Maury came off of the net there. Yeah. Play stop. So 
Uh, kind of a physical flavor here early on from the Monarch Coyotes. Not nearly what we saw last night up in Fort Collins. But, right. Uh, from the Poudre Valley Stars. But uh, I think the word is out that uh, in order to try to slow down this Eagles team, yeah. probably playing the body is a smart way to go about yeah. doing that. <clears throat> They're probably primarily known as a, a smaller, quicker team. For Valor sure. Is. For sure. We don't have a ton of very big bodies, but we got a lot of very quick players. For sure. For sure. Drew nice. right over to Brock Benson, speaking of quick players. Yeah. And a big body right there. It's a good combination. They go D to D. Coming up, looking for a passing lane. AJ Harris put that out, and they brought it back in off sides. Here comes Evan Jimenez, as well as Cole Tallis. So a couple shifts in the lineup today, Guy. Um, Eliza Fisher's going to be out, I think, for at least, I, I, my understanding is two games, but uh, might only be one. Still have Daniel Galushko uh, sort of recouping from that jaw injury last weekend, and I think it's right. a smart move on Coach Wazdecki's part to give him a, a weekend here to heal up and make sure everything's fine. It's right. a pretty, pretty good hit he took. So. Yep. Ethan Jordan's out as well. Ethan Jordan is also With out. With injury. And we're hoping everybody gets healthy. Absolutely. Quickly. Absolutely. So a little light on the decor oh. when you look at uh, two two starters out. But yeah. uh, luckily you have some guys up from JV that I think will fill the, fill the gap here today. Right. In sports, it's next up. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Cole Tallis takes us. Oh, that's going to be a, a hook probably on Cole inadvertent. But... A hold. He had gotten his arm across, and the stick held up the player. Kind of a tight call. I could see yep. how it could be called. Yep. Not like, yep. oh my gosh, where did that come from, or anything like that. So, anytime you get your hand off of the stick, and you get in, con in contact, close contact with the, with a player, it's uh, it's going to be looked at a little more closely. Yep, for sure. So Ronan, Maddox, Cole, Campbell. And uh, Carter Charles out there on the kill. The PK, as it's known. As opposed to the PP, which is the power play. And When, uh, when guys are chosen to be out here for, for these special teams, as they're called, it means they're uh, doing a really good job. And the coach thinks they're going to be super effective. Wow, they keep on going to that far post two, twice in a row. They do. They're looking for Look, 15 down yeah, there. Yeah, looking for... Uh, Small 15 number 15. is Jaron Ng for Monarch. He must have uh, good hands on the, on the, yep. on the, clear on there. the back door there. Clear. 121 left now in that penalty kill for your Eagles. And we're, uh, there they come down the right-hand side. Cole Campbell making sure four has to go to the outside. He kicks it forward. Moving with speed, controlling the puck very well. Going around the world. Eddie puts that off the glass. Now Maddox has time. He'll wait, wait. Nice patience. Bounces over the D-man. Well played. Yep. Going to get some fresh legs here. Yep. Here Maddox out there. Jack McKidoo on the penalty kill. Drew Jenkins wearing the A. Yep. Fantastic. And Eddie Chen. Nice play by Maddox. Gets it all the way down. Now Maddox will go off for Brock Benson wearing the C. One of the Cs. Yep. Him and that uh, MJ, what's his, yeah, what's his Ladwig, something like that. He's also a captain. Yeah, yeah. yeah they just uh, they just announced captains there in Culver this past weekend. They're yeah, donning their fresh letters on the uh, on their sweaters. So uh, I think it, uh, you know, it's always exciting when you acknowledge leaders, and and I think these guys have proven during early in the year that they uh, they're leaders on and off the ice, which yep. is uh, great stuff. Ooh, Drew Jenkins almost stole that. Yeah, that's, this is also part of the educational uh, experience that, that sports provides. Absolutely. Nice play there by Jack. Right Snuck play, it through. Jack's playing so well right Yeah, now. he is. Drew Jenkins has it. A.J. Harris going back, and Drew puts a wide. And uh, MJ steps up nice, keeps it in. Lost the handle for a moment, kept it in. Now I think this bounces into the Coyote bench and will probably is that the inside or outside. I think it's going to stay inside here, Guy. I'm yeah. not sure it'll ever... Yeah. I think it went off the Monarch player and then went into their bench area. So and that's why. Going to have that uh, face-off down deep to the left of the Monarch goalie. Yeah. 
We're seven minutes in, and uh, we don't have a shot on net yet. Yeah. So we got to start playing in the, the right zone. So Andrew Hughes is the goalie for Monarch. He is a freshman, so that's impressive to see him playing here at the varsity level. Wow. Looking yeah. sharp early, yeah. I might add. Bounce it back. And the pressure, Jimenez. That was good pressure by Evan. Now it's coming all the way down. No ice. MJ is going to go in there with seven. Just protects the puck. Gets the puck back. Chips it right to Jimenez. Jimenez going around the other way. Gets back behind the cage. He's got Lucas Scott waiting for a pass. Gets it back to Cole Tallis. Tallis bringing it out. Gets it across the line. Jimenez going towards the net. Almost had a stick on that. That's the first shot on goal. Though it's not marked up there yet. And Lucas Scott. Lucas had a nice goal last night. Good snipe. Talis chasing hard. Jimenez. Jimenez. And they're still going after it. Oh, that was a late oh. shot. I don't know how you don't call that. <laughs> yeah. I think he just got him for that. Yeah. Cole just playing to the yeah, whistle. He did. I uh, talked about yeah. it last night. Yeah. I mean, guys, are anytime, you, anytime a, a player perceives that you're taking a shot at their goalie, sometimes they hear the whistle, sometimes they don't. He definitely took umbrage with that. Yep. That's uh, number 20. Jacob Miller for Monarchs. So he's going to sit in the bench. So first opportunity now to see your Eagles power play, which has been very effective so far this year. We saw CPHL, a lot of great power play goals, and that's continued here in the early season for Chassa. Send this one right down. Last night it was interesting. Um, the power play never really got set up perfectly yeah. um, against that uh, quick Poudre Valley team. All that went off Ronan's stick, and he's going to chase 13 chips that high off the glass. And that should be a hand pass. Yep. Yep. I'm going to go all the way back down to the right of Cooper Robinson. So 140 left in this power play, first power play for the Eagles. Again, hopefully they'll get that set up. Uh, it was very effective last weekend in Culver. It was. Uh, but as, as you said last night, a little discombobulated. So. Yep. Time and space. There was limited time and space last night. That was a 5-0 to zero game, but it wasn't a lopsided game. The yeah. score was, yeah. but it was very back and forth. Um, actually, Poudre Valley had 45 shots on us, and we wow. had 24 on them. So They were flying last night. Yeah, yeah. No question. I, I feel like, um, I don't know if they've had some changes to that roster, but they were faster than I remembered Yeah, from uh, CPHL. So. And accurate with their, pa their yeah. passing was exceptional, I thought. As was ours. Coop setting that up for Maddox. Minute five left now in the power play there. Gets it over to Drew. He had to wait, and five has an opportunity. MJ battling hard, protecting that. Gets it over to Maddox. Maddox looking for his brother. Maybe Lucas Scott. Oh, tried to hit Drew on the right-hand side. Now they send it all the way down. That was out. That will be off sides if they don't, if, unless they clear the zone, which they did. Lucas Scott stepping up. That's going to go all the way around, and Eddie Chen's going to be able to pick that up. Puts it on his forehand, gets it back to MJ Ladwig, so he ha they have time to really set up. And here comes Eddie. He's going to go down. He likes that left-hand side, just trucking down that left-hand side. This is an effective penalty Absolutely. kill. Absolutely. Monarch looks really, really good on this on this penalty kill. Going to get about one last rush here with about eight seconds left. MJ's going to take care of that, getting it in the zone. Goes through. Now they send it all the way down. Yeah. And I don't think we got a shot off on that power play. So back to even strength. Nice pass there. Cooper back to Eddie. Ooh, right over to 10, looking for that pass to Lucas Scott. They get it across. Ooh, almost went off a puck went off the moorings. It went off a Brock Benson skate. There. Yeah. It got a little exciting. Yeah. Let's take a look at this on the replay. Looking for a crossing pass. And it trickled through and then went off a Brock Benson skate. So yeah. that'll make your heart pound a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Ronan taking the draw here. And uh, 57 is going to be kicked out of the circle. Someone was offsides. Different kind of offsides. 
explain it later. <laughs> Ooh, collision at the, oh, almost through, and here comes Carter Charles, he's got an opportunity. 57, chasing hard. Oh, oh, oh bar down that's ski. That's awesome. Got a really good look right over the blocker side shoulder. Oh of the goalie here. Man, that is a in. snipe. That is a beautiful shot. Near side, yeah. top, top corner. And that, as a goalie, I would assume, is probably not the spot you thought he was going to pick, but he uh, he picked a spot and went with it. Yeah. I guess I'm not a goalie, so I don't know what a goalie would be thinking there. But uh. <laughs> Well, right there, I don't want to say what they're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Colorful it's a, it's a family. It's yeah. a family show. Yeah. So 1-0, Screaming Eagles. 641 left here in the first, so it's a great way to jump out. Yeah, that's, that was only the second shot we've had, so. So trying to get it out of the zone. Drew keeps it in, looking for AJ in the slot there maybe, and now Eddie Chen's gonna have to chase. Number eight coming in fast, goes off his shin pad, and Eddie just takes the man so he can't go get the puck, as Eddie does. Brock, ooh, lost ooh, the handle lost there for a minute. Now picks it, now it's coming the other way. And five has an opportunity, just tried to chip it through. Harmlessly off to the, the corner there. Quentin Labette <laughs> runs into somebody and runs over somebody. He was giving away say. some size there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Monarch player was. Yeah, yeah. Quentin's not a small individual. Nope. Oh, nice poke check there by Quentin. Well played. The kid who keeping him to the outside. Seven fakes like he's going to go back to the D's. He's a slippery good player hands, there. Good hands on seven for sure. Yep. Good puck control. Now they're all scrumming in there. Now Jack McKidu comes out with it. Drew Jenkins fighting off three coyotes <laughs> down Still there. Still battling. <laughs> and faring, faring well. Now it's coming back out. Cole Campbell chasing back. Just settle that down, gets it over to Drew Jenkins. Near side here, he chips it off the boards. Back to Cole, he's got Lucas Scott. They didn't connect on that. Now it comes out to the point, looking for 20. He just chips it down deep and Jack will pick the rolling puck up. And uh, Drew says, don't pass it to me, I'm going off the ice with a hand signal. It's good for these boys to be talking to each other. Absolutely. There's a lot more talking than you would think. Absolutely. Especially when teams, there is Jackson King Good to see Jackson out there getting an opportunity. Absolutely. Absolutely a big fresh game. up from JV. Ooh, that's out. Oh, and Cole got it back out. Yeah. So they didn't go off sides. Nice, smart well play. Well played. Now they go D to D. This 86 is a big boy. Yeah. Connor Politi. Nice pass over to Jackson. Jackson, oh, almost got it through those skates, but didn't. And now Monarch has it behind the net. Try to reverse it, and they do. Connor Politi battling. Still back there. Comes out, comes out to the left point. Left point does not have time to get an unobstruct. Oh, oh that wow. was so high on Jackson King. And that is a cross check to the head. Yeah, that was brutal. That's Watch a, how high this was. Yeah. And it was a it was a straight up cross check. And he literally was driving for the head. I, I struggle to wonder how that's not a two and ten. Yeah, uh, I'm not here to complain about the refs, but uh, that was—I uh, don't know—I felt that was some intent there. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like it slipped up. Yeah, or anything like yeah. That, so. so well, you know, they're 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 calling the game, and uh, nobody was hurt. That's the important thing. Yep. So another power play here, opportunity for the Eagles. All forwards out there, all forward, no D. Yeah. The coaching staff saying the best. Ooh, shot on, it's coming Oops. across. Oh, Drew almost had really it. Really close. Nice block down there by Ronan. Now Maddox will have to chase. Number nine as well. Nice pick there by Ronan. He just, it's like the puck sticks to his stick. It does. <laughs> he touches it, it just seems to stick. I'm sure, you know. Not, I have been impressed with the penalty killing unit though from Monarch. They oh made yeah. that first power play pretty uneventful for your Eagles. Now, trying different zone entries. 
Shot on. Glove nifty little shot there from Ronan. Yeah. Let's get some shots, yep. right? Yep. Going to get some fresh legs here. 117 left now on this power play. He was trying to pick a corner there, but the goalie got a piece of it, I thought, with his glove. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know why. Yeah, he did get a piece yeah. of it. Nice quick, yeah. quick glove. It's bounced out. MJ Ladwig's going to have to two eights going for it. And the blue one got there first. Way to go, MJ. Good hustle. Four years of performance at Valor. It's paying off play. right there. And this squirts out of the zone, and MJ's going to have to go back. So less than a minute left on the power play, so they're going to have to settle it down, and they send it deep. Had a couple zone entries, but nothing sustained. And this is another one that goes straight back down, and MJ seems to be a, a pattern here. Just sending it down, and look at how deep they are. They have two in our zone. Yep. So usually you have one guy. Yeah, Lucas Scott gets that across. Drop. Nice drop for Brock Benson. Benson gets it to the Ooh, front almost. Front. Good defense there. Now it comes out Makidu getting rewarded for his game Absolutely. last night on the, on the penalty kill out here. Nice to see opportunities happening. So five seconds left on that power play. Now they dump it down. Now it's back to even strength. Pass over to Makidu. Makidu looking for a lane. Now he's looking for Jacan. Oh, Cam Gunnarsson was calling for it here on the left-hand side. Pops into the Valor bench there. You're going to play stoppage here. Impressed with that kill. Um, I'm not sure. I was a coach for a long time. I'm not sure I would be completely comfortable having two of my four penalty killers in the offensive zone uh, yeah. on that breakout. Yeah. But uh, they've been effective so far. Uh, it's sort of a modified wedge that they're doing, but they're using, uh, they're having that second player play substantially deeper in that, uh, that zone. Well, I think in that case, you've got to be really confident of that kid's decision ability and Absolutely. his skating ability. Absolutely. If it gets past him, he's got to get on his horse to get back and help out. Yep. But it certainly was effective. It kept, kept the puck, you know, the, the benefit of that Absolutely. is it keeps the puck you know, 150 feet away from your goal. Yep. Like, let's make some mistakes up there rather than in our own zone. Absolutely. I guess. I'm sure there's different philosophies. 13 over to the left point, left point, back to 13. Blocked there by Cam Gunnarsson. He's going to have oh, some. he's got help. And he's Politi. also got Connor Politi coming right down the gut. Puts it in. Oh, it and goes it goes in. in. Cam Gunnarsson. Cam Gunnarsson, beautiful Good. goal. I think the goalie got a piece of it, but it still trickled through. So, nice work, Cam. Uh, Cam Gunnarsson is, uh, is one of the team favorite. Uh, boys are over the moon excited over there on the bench. Look at that. Wow, fantastic. Nice work. So Rewarded to the hustle. One minute left here. That was on the fourth shot, so I talked about the goalie looking sharp earlier. Uh, struggling a bit. Right. Okay, actually. Yeah. Oh, it did? Okay. Oh, Oh, really? That went off right that? off the handle of the stick. There's yeah. what uh, yeah. Michael Shaw, our director, our director, production manager, producer, producer. He does it all. Oh, Jackson fell down for a second. Oh, big hit by MJ Ladwig, right in the slot. Lucas Scott bringing it across the front, barrels over a Monarch Coyote. Now they're coming out the other way. They bounce it off the glass. It's going to come skipping out to Cole Campbell. Campbell. Looking to settle that down. It's blocked down. Every, everything's good. No offsides. No hand pass. And Lucas Scott shot on. Kicked off to the side. Lucas Scott taking the... Oh, nicely kept in there by Cole Campbell. And uh, had to fend off a, a late hit from six there. Might be some frustration showing. And that yep. will be a nice. Yep, you can sense a little frustration growing on that Coyote team. Yeah. Well, they're struggling. Not a lot of shots on goal. Difficulty breaking out of their own zone. You get tired, as you and I have talked about. Uh, when you're in your defensive zone and the other team has possession, it takes it out of you. Yeah. And so uh, they're probably going to be particularly happy for this first break. And Ice got yep. a little time to regroup, rest a bit. Yeah, they, I don't think they have to do any changes on their penalty kill. For sure. <laughs> Very impressive. But uh, other aspects of the game are, are not 
working that well for him. Yet. It's only 2 nothing. That's the end of the first. Nice job by All right. Cole. Eagles looking sharp early. I can see uh, this is going to be a physical affair as we move through. Absolutely. For sure. We're going to take about a 10-minute break. Go grab another cup of coffee, maybe a Danish or two. I like it. I like it. As long as, you're is, is work, as long as you're you're getting your workout in today. Or an Elsinore and a jelly. <laughs> an Elsinore. <laughs> All right. You you're a strange that. brew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you guys that like old movies. The Great White North. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, strange brew, actually. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll be back in, uh, in about 10 minutes.
All right, coming back Welcome for back. second period action. What do well, you think? I want to give a big shout out to Cooper's grandmas that are watching. So we have. Uh, uh, Grandma Dee Dee and Grandma G. Watch. All right. So welcome to the broadcast. Had a chance to just spend some time speaking with the Robinsons, and uh, keeps playing great so far tonight. So starting the second period here. Awesome. Here we go. Carter has that tip off the stick, and now Monarch brings back. I see we have a new goalie for the Monarch Coyotes. Little switch up there. Yeah. And uh, so they gave the freshman an opportunity. Now they're bringing in. Um, I don't know what this gentleman's name is, but just a switch. Sometimes it's as much to help the team. Just kind of regroup. Sure. Hey, we got fresh ice. Sure. Different goalie. Not not blaming the goalie in any by any means, but maybe it's not his best day, right? Sure. Sure. Here Rough start. Yep. Ooh, Ronan stepping forward to take the body at number eight. Now they come together in the corner again. Carter reaches that. Oh, looking for Maddox. Maddox eventually did get it. But not directly. Oh, nice keep in there by number 12. That was a good play. That was a good play. Yeah. Eddie Chen battling hard, looking for that. Comes out to Maddox, chips it to the boards. And then they're, they're still in there. It's in, in 12 feet. Shot. Nice defensive play there. Who was that? Was that Eddie or Carter? It was Eddie that got the, uh, nice. the block there. Maddox has to wait. Puts it back towards the slot for his brother. Chipped off his stick. Right to Ronan. And he got leveled as soon as the puck got to him. Now it goes out to the far side. Cole, nice shot there. Carter takes a swing by, looking for that. McKidu. Ooh, oh, right off Carter's shin pad. But went wide of the net. You'll notice Maddox spins around the other way. And four trying to go high on Maddox. <laughs> Maddox goes by and lifts up his stick. And this goes all the way down, and that will be. This is a. This is the most pressure I've seen. Yes, from the Eagles. A lot of action here early. Mm -hmm. So 33 mm -hmm. is Josh Ringoin. Uh, he is a sophomore, so they have a, a very young goaltending core here on varsity. So they have a freshman, and then they have a sophomore as okay. their goalies. So all right, that certainly bodes well for uh, the Coyotes' future. The future uh, for yeah, sure, but. Uh, both uh, this this organization and uh, the, the the organization that we played last night, Northern Colorado, kind of I don't know where or why, but they almost always have really strong goalies. They do, they do. I don't know if there's some some Obi Wan Kenobi <laughs> Yoda Something character in that up Northern there. Water, yeah. <laughs> Battling here, nice play there by Jackson King. Got it back and high shot. And uh, first save for big number 33. Yep, 33 is actually, he's looked good. A lot of, sort of an onslaught here early, a couple of shots, a lot of pressure. So yep. he's definitely uh, much larger in stature yep, yep. than uh, the other goalie that we saw in the first period. So. Right. And uh, Jackson King engaging in that play down low and got the puck back. Smart, smart hockey play there. Drew Jenkins chasing number seven. Ooh. That was close, <laughs> close to it. Is this going to go stay on? And MJ Ladwig's going to have a one on, uh, he's got two guys on him. Still has it, goes back behind the net, and Quentin Labette quickly turns around, so his body is between the puck and the uh, opposing player. Now Drew Jenkins bounces that puck up off his skates. Still going. Cuts it across the center and looking for that shot. Oh, big save. Rebound came up. A.J. Harris almost had the handle on it. Now <laughs> Drew Jenkins comes back and back checks. What a strong back check. And someone's getting someone's getting called for something. I'm not sure. I think it's got him on the offsides oh, there. No, and Drew just took a shot. Huh? And uh, I saw a linesman all go up, but I didn't see a referee. So that's interesting. Yeah. I thought for sure there was going to be a penalty on yeah. someone. I wasn't quite sure. Yeah, I just saw a linesman arm go up. Well, that's actually good news, maybe, because probably would have been on us. Yep. We'll take it. Lucas Scott chips it off the boards. Going against big number 86 there. Jackson King battling. Cole Tallis, six comes out with it. Six sends it down, and Coop will go out there and set it up for his D-man, Eddie Chen. Gets it up to Lucas Scott. Knock that down. 
Gets it back through to Jackson King. Picks that up nicely and drops it for Cole Tallis. Gets it up to Lucas Scott who drops it for Eddie Chen engaging in the offensive side of things. Still up there putting the pressure on 15. Comes out to mid-ice, Jackson King, nice bounce back. Nice play there by Cole. Oh, nice move by Tallis. Comes out, no, Jimenez left. almost had an opportunity there. They send it back in. Everybody's going to have to get uh, back on sides. And uh, Maddox has to step up and step out of the zone for a moment there and does. Situational awareness is huge right there. It's kind of different in the second period because uh, some of the players hopping on the ice are actually offsides as soon as they touch yep. the ice. That goes also off. have that long change we talk about in the second period, so yeah. uh, they're very different dynamics in the second period. Yep. <laughs> Cooper having to stay sharp. Yep. All on his own for a while. It's been a while since he's had a shot. Sometimes these are hard games to stay engaged in, but I would imagine, absolutely. I don't think the intensity ever waves on <laughs> There's <Coop>. no shortage <laughs> of intensity for you. Probably got that from his grandmas. I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, yep, absolutely. Cole Campbell taking around the net. <clears throat> Carter Charles takes a hit before he touched the puck. And Maddox Charles will chase 57. And they get it across. Carter sends it right back. Ronan Hirschfield picks that up, and he's got Maddox going towards the net. Just getting mauled by 57. Nice oh. turnaround shot by Maddox. McKidoo keep trying to keep it in there. Now Ronan Hirschfield goes out, chips it. Someone's stick got lost, and here comes Carter Charles. Drops it for his brother. Looking. Oh, trying to go top cheese. The only option he really had. And uh, good effort by Maddox. He out. lost the handle there and then had to go to his backhand. There wasn't an option left besides trying to go high. Right. Great hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, for sure. uh, the, the Charles boys definitely bring lots of pressure. Defensemen know them well. When they see 16 and 23 for Valor, they know they don't have a whole lot of time. Yeah. That's a pass up the ice as fast as possible moment. Absolutely. Generally. Hmm. It's going to go all the way, but no ice. Matt, or MJ's going in there. Chips it right back for Q. Quentin Labette bounces that off the boards. Goes over Brock Benson's shoulders. 20 has an opportunity for a shot, Ooh. and they tried to ramp that up. That was really a nice good tip. tip attempt. Eight had that nice ramp, but uh, high over the crossbar. Now Drew Jenkins picks that up from Brock Benson. Drew looking for a pass, maybe. Still going around. Everybody's all bunched up, and the net is off the moorings. Ooh, oh, and got some. a high stick on somebody. It wow. looks like uh, Brock's going to the box. Let's see what happens. Interesting to see that in the offensive zone. Generally, that's a defenseman getting up, getting high up on there, but that's not what the referee saw. So we're going to see uh, a PK, a penalty kill here for your Eagles. You can't do that. The kids are cheering down <laughs> below. <laughs> Poor Brock's getting <laughs> chirped by the, <laughs> the second graders down here. It's in the zone. Okay, I'll get back to business here. Um, number nine looking for a passing lane. That's taken up by A.J. Harris. Number 13 gets it back to number nine. Number nine looking for cross ice, but there's sticks in the way, and those are eagle sticks. 16, 86, I should say. Comes out to the other side, A.J. Trying to get Cole Campbell, sends that all the way around and does escape the zone. Nice play by Cole, winging that around like that. Drew Jenkins, F1, making them make that first pass. And here comes 12, carrying it up the ice himself. He's going to have to go through A.J. Harris, McKidoo, and Cole Campbell. Someone saw something down there that they didn't like. And now it's back D to D, 13. Cross, nice stick well there. Drew taking away that passing lane. Yep. That puck Comes away. out, shot on, beautiful Ooh. save by, Coop. Save by Coop. Coop through traffic. Came out. Oh, they're going to get a Coyote player now. Oh, they're calling Drew on that play. Are they both going to go? I don't know. Let's. Uh, 
Can we see that one more time, Michael? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look back and see what happened here. Let's see. Let's keep an eye on Drew. We're going. He goes to the inside, trying to get that. Oh, he gets cup oh, checked right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Twelve. Uh, I'm not sure how you take Drew on that one as well, but uh, all right. So we're gonna see some uh, some five on four action. I think those two penalties are going to offset. So uh, 58 seconds on the original penalty. And then uh, what I believe is going to be offsetting penalties with Drew. And uh, I think it's number 12, I think, is who I saw down there in the box from Monarch. That's uh, Collar Urban. All right. Yeah, that was that was nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I know. Maybe they called Drew on a hook or something. I'm maybe, maybe yeah. they got him on the initial shot and then uh, yeah. retaliation from, right. from twelve there. Right. Just want to go a quick shout out to uh, Mike Politi and his dad is watching in Elizabeth, Colorado. Fantastic. So. Deirdre's probably watching somewhere as well. Go! Ooh, that went off a skate and went all the way across the slot, almost the crease. Carter. Okay, that was not us. That was. Maddox Charles burning some time down there. All right, 34 yeah. seconds left on the kill here. Four goes by Carter. Goes by Maddox. They get it released to the left hand side. Six. Put it down to the winger. Comes out. And Maddox Charles Good turns clear. around, Good sends clear. it all the way down. All right, 14 seconds now left on that kill. Going to make the Monarch Coyotes go 200 feet here. And here comes six, bringing it down the left-hand side. Might drop it for 15. He All does. Right. 15 has Penalty it. expired. Back to even strength. And here comes an opportunity for Brock Benson. Goalie's coming out. Nice play by the goalie. Now Cole Campbell's getting that spinning puck. Sends it deep. Brock Benson. Carter Charles picks that up. Drops it for Brock. Brock on his backhand going around the net. Gets a bump from 86, another bump. Kidu stepping up, keeps that deep. 86, now he's getting bumped from Brock. And, uh, this gets out of the zone and Cole Campbell will have to chase back, being pressured by number 15. They get it up the boards, McKidu. Brock, and Far side, Carter will be putting the pressure on. They do get it out of the zone. Here comes an opportunity. Nope. It's going to come all the way down. Coop's going to come out and backhand that over to Jack McKidu. He tries to get it up the boards, but the Coyotes are there. Now it comes around the other side. Far corner, 16, picks that up. Gets it out to the, the point, and he puts it into his bench. So based on the pressure from Ronan. Well, and those two other penalties, the offsetting penalties just expired, so... Both teams have all their players back on the bench, and we'll see five on five hockey here. This uh, second period has a different flavor than the first. There's definitely more pressure in the Monarch zone from the Eagles. Yep, yep. Certainly some adjustments made by Coach Gwazdecki during that last cut in between periods. Absolutely. All right, Lucas Scott chasing at mid-ice. Jimenez also working, bouncing puck, can't keep the handle on it. Lucas Scott drops it back for MJ, and MJ getting chased by 55. Drops it for Lucas Scott, he'll pick that up on his backhand, tries to put it forward for Cole Tallis. Tallis still working down there, Quentin Lebet comes in to help out, and they put it right to the front, 10. Shot on, hey. shot in. Number 20. Great shot from the point there. Jacob Don't know Miller. if he had much traffic in front of him or what happened. If there was a screen or not. A couple guys in front there. Yeah, let's see from Coop's perspective here. Protecting the post. That goes all the way across. Comes out on top. Ooh, that was a lot of traffic there in front. <laughs> Difficult to see that puck coming through for Cooper Robinson. Yeah. So 2-1 game, 749 here left in the second. Coyotes are not going to go away. We knew this.
That pass intercepted. Comes an opportunity for Eddie Chen. Chasen gets it out to the point, or the slot. Drew Jenkins there. Brock Benson going towards the net. Oh, tried to chip it in high side and uh, went over the net. Drew battling down there. Jackson King steps up. A.J. Harris going to pick that up. Drops it for Jackson King, but they don't connect on that. 57 bringing it across. Whiffed on that shot. Comes out right to the front. And Trudeau, or K Cooper in, in the splits, making sure. Let's see what's going on here. Loose puck. I don't know if the moorings came off or what, uh, what happened there. It's still free out there. People are upset about a quick whistle yeah, again. I'm not sure why they uh, why they blew the whistle there. Well, as soon as they lose sight, that's true. Yeah. That's true. As soon as the referee cannot see it, they're going to go ahead and blow that whistle. Must have something what happened there. Nice, nice save there by Cooper, protecting that post. Maddox trying to hit Ronan. Comes the other side, eight. Sending it down. Nice defensive play there by Ford. Here comes number nine, Cole Campbell and Jack McKidu back. They got to watch that front. Number eight going the back door there. Shot on. Nice save by Coop. No momentum. It swung. And now here comes Ronan. Going down, goes through the referee's skates. This can go high into the netting. And Ronan takes a hit after the whistle. Definitely a shift in intensity. That goal kind of woke the uh, Coyotes up here. Now you see them really taking it to the Valor Eagles right now. Yeah. You can see that shot total is evened out at yeah. eight. Yeah. <clears throat> it's quite a flurry of, uh, of activity there for the Monarch Coyotes. It's a game of momentum and mistakes. Absolutely. Cole Tallis taking the draw. Bawabic, Minnesota's in the house, that's for sure. Watching Cole Tallis. Right to Jimenez. Oh, nice shot there by Evan. Nice low shot. Rebound came out, but no one was there for it. Another nice interception there by Evan. Now Monarch has it, controlling, D to D. Playing with more poise and calm. Jimenez drops it for Jackson King and Lucas Scott right there next to each other. Goes all the way down, and there's going to be no ice. And Jimenez going in on 86. 86 almost wiped himself out, kept, kept his skates under him. Comes right out to, oh, Lucas Scott looking for that quick shot. And uh, just hopped, hopped off. Oh, goes across, 15 going into the corner. Comes right out to 86, 86. Wow. No goal, no goal. No goal. The defenseman pushed uh, MJ into the goalie. That's goalie <coughs> interference, so that's not a goal. Yeah. That's goalie interference. He so called it's it be off. waved off. He called it off right away. He did. Let's watch that one more time. Yeah. Could we, Mike? See the push right there? Oh, yeah. That's absolutely goal. That's interference. You can't push. Did you? Yeah, let's watch it one more time. This is this is clearly illegal. <laughs> Not illegal, but against the rules. Yep. Yeah, yeah and the net yeah. was off. Yeah, a lot of lot of stuff going on there. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Monarch fans not happy with that call, but when you watch the replay, you can see pretty clearly what happened. 5.28 left here in the second period. And uh, it's a two to one game, so emotions are high. Eddie Chen sends that up, gets it out of the zone, and A.J. Harris. Yeah, we've got some uh, interesting parents near us, so yeah. if you hear um, strange comments. That's not us. 
just FYI. All right, so going to have a uh, face-off here down deep to the right of the Monarch goalie. Drew Jenkins taking the draw. Harrison Benson on the wings comes right in. McKidu looking for an opportunity there. Good effort. Now he's getting back. Cole Campbell, Brock Benson. Drew Jenkins bringing it up. Now they're going to have to go chase number four. This is going to be an icing. Yep. Going to bring it all the way back down. 4.54 left here in the second period. Been a very interesting one. Looks like some fresh legs coming on, at least uh, fresh D. King and Chen. Same forward line, though. Chen sends that down deep to Harris. Harris looking for the slot. Benson and Jenkins were out there. Comes back. Far corner now. Jackson King goes in there. Nice good chip play. around. Yeah, good play. Jenkins going around. Still has it. Gets it over to Chen. Chen hopped off his stick, so he didn't have a chance to shoot it. Sends it back down deep. Back to Jenkins. Chips it over to Harris. Harris. Toe drags around, drops it for King. King, nice low shot low right shot. on net. Benson picks up that rebound. Nice play there by Jackson, just getting it back down. A little pressure here by the Eagles, but here come the Coyotes trying to get it out of the zone, and Carter Charles out there drops it for Brock. Brock over to Drew. Drew going through, chips it forward, tries to go across. Him and four going to the corner with contact. MJ steps up, keeps it in. And this is going to go for an ice if it's not on net, but on it is that, on net. Yeah. So Coop going to send that all the way down. Try to, is intercepted by Seven. Seven keeps it in. Nice play by Cooper Robinson. Ooh, got somebody on a hook there. See who he's taking. Oh, oh, right might there. Be MJ Ladwig on that coming back to. Uh, yep. Trying to hold up 57. Yep. Who's going towards the net. So 336 here going to be a penalty kill. All right. Take that penalty. Kind of yeah. protecting yep. the goalie and protecting yep. a scoring opportunity. Pick up, pick up that player flashing across there. Probably probably save <laughs> at least a good scoring opportunity, if maybe not a goal. So yeah. see what we can do on the kill here. 86 over to 13. 13 looking for that lane. It's interesting. They don't generally go for the shot. They go for the back, mm -hmm. back post. Shot on just like that. Yep. Did it again. Yep. 13 over to 86. 86 down deep. Nice save by Coop. Good and clear. Was, yeah, that was good by Cole Campbell. Goes all the way out. Ronan Hirschfield will come out, and Carter Charles will come racing out. F1. And then he'll get back. McKidoo's out there. Campbell out there. Nice play there by Carter, and he'll go chase. Make sure number uh, two has to do something with that puck. 12, I should say. 115 now left on the kill. 86 bringing it across so they can get set up. And Coop puts right. the glove down. Smart play. All right, 109 left now on that kill. Going to see some fresh defensemen come out. We'll see what they do with the forwards here. Looks like it's going to be a wholesale change here. So all fresh legs here for the penalty killing unit. Labette, Chen, Good Maddox. Good pressure for Monarch down deep here on the penalty on the power play, I should say. Yeah, they're really s getting set up well. Yep. Bounce it back to four. Four looking for a lane. No lane there. Eddie Chen battling in front, as is Quentin Labette. Taking up lanes, comes out. Jenkins there on him. 15 down deep. Oh, oh nice save by Coops. Quick, quick pass there. It's a nice play. Shot, yep. Yeah, that was a good play by Fort. Uh, Absolutely. 
49 seconds now left in that kill. Going to have the uh, draw out to the right of Cooper Robinson. Two twenty-five left in the period. So six looking for a lane. Goes off a of body. Drops down. Sometimes that's the player hoping for. Absolutely. <laughs> Maddox Charles chasing four. Four, I would say, is one of their stronger D men. Absolutely. Maddox comes up, gets off the ice. And there comes Carter, replacing his brother out there. Ooh, this is going to go all the way back down on a. Yep, 20 seconds now left. Carter Charles takes the puck off 16, 14. They're all scrummed up here in neutral ice, and then oh, Cole Campbell clear. sends it down. So eight seconds left now on the penalty kill. Not sure they're going to have time time for another rush here are the Mono Coyotes. And back to even strike, and MJ Ladwick hops out of the box. Right there, Cole Campbell moves it forward. He'll Lefty have a move. two on one. Six is chasing hard. Oh, looking for that pass. Comes across, gets his own pass. Nice play there by Cole Campbell. Tried to get it across, it got blocked, and then he had the opportunity to get his own rebound. Eddie Chen picks up that puck from Carter Charles. Brock Benson gets it across. Goes against the boards. Brock Maddox Charles tried to get it over to the slot, and here they come. Ooh. 50, 55 was going down. Eddie Chen taking the body. Good play by Eddie. Nice, clean play. Good play by Eddie. That's a big kid, too. So good hockey, good hockey. Maddox Charles, that's going to be off sides. Carter steps on sides. Eddie Chen is going to have to go back. Cooper brings this out, bounces off 55, and then Eddie caught that and dropped it down. 55 looking for a shot across. Oh, that puck went in. in. The low shot trickled through. 32 seconds left. Let's see yep. what happens here. I don't know that he was expecting shot there. Did it go off somebody? I'm not sure. Maybe you can really see from the bow. Check. Now we get a better look at it here. Just went five hole. Just. Uh, Fooled, uh, fooled no. there. Can you do that one more time? Can you do that one more time? I think that ramped up over the defenseman's stick. It went, it went, I think it went over his right toe. Oh, maybe. Yep, tough to tell. 2-2, two, two, 23 seconds yep. left here. Oh, big hit. On MJ Ladwig, he gets right back up, though. All right, sorry, Jack Nikitu. Bring it across. There's a good hit. Five Menez. seconds left Play here. Shoot, take the shot. Well, that's going to do it for the second period. 2-2. Two -two. Vastly different than the end Absolutely. of the first. Absolutely. So, third period's going to be an exciting one. Going to have another cut of the ice here, I believe. Gonna wait for everybody to get off. How's it going? We'll be back in 10 minutes. Yep.
All right, going to have to start the third period here. MJ Ladwig picking up that puck off the draw. Eddie Chen sends it down to Carter Charles. They go to the opposite side. Ronan sends it right back to Carter going in. Drops it for his brother. Shot wider than that. Ooh, Carter had an opportunity at a backhand. Rebound. MJ had to settle down a spinning puck. Now they're coming out the other way, and Eddie Chen's going to be there first. Chops it back, but they bring it forth. But behind the Valor goal, Eddie Chen chipping up maybe. Getting tied up by number nine. MJ comes over to help out. Looking. Getting it over to Carter Charles, but that bounced off the boards. Comes back the other way. Now it's back to MJ Ladwig chasing beneath the goal line. Drops it for Eddie Chen. Eddie Chen chips it back. Carter Charles takes a look over his shoulder and then chips it looking for Ronan on a touch pass. Didn't go, so now Eddie Chen has an opportunity to skate it out. Gets it up to Carter Charles. Charles sends it way across. Maddox Charles going in with number four. Number four takes Maddox to the boards. Brings it out. Cole Campbell over to McKidu. McKidu up to Drew Jenkins. Drew Jenkins bringing it across. Puts a shot on. That goes high. Deflected. Ooh, goes up over. The netting hits the scoreboard back there, it looked like. So. Uh oh. Play Wait. stoppage. Going to be down to the left of the uh, Mono Coyote goalie. Two to two. Third period, 15.39 left. Shots are about even. And this will be Drew Jenkins taking the draw with Harrison Nelson, uh, Benson. We don't even have a Nelson. We'll get a change in centerman for the Coyotes. It's one back. Makito picks that up. Sends it down. Drew Jenkins sends it all the way down. Brock Benson will chase on the near side. They Shift it the other way. A.J. Harris gets it out to Drew Jenkins. Ooh, good Shot on. That was a nice pass by A.J. Harris. That skips out, and Cole Campbell wisely gets that across. Goes all the way down looking for Brock Benson, but they didn't connect. Now it's coming the other way. Cole Campbell puts body on six. 12 going back behind the net. Jack picks him up. Nice pick up there by Drew. Drew over to A.J. A.J. trying to center. That comes out the other way. 15 trying to get it through, but Cole Campbell, nice defensive play. Chips it off the boards. Up to Drew. Drew going down the left-hand side. Puts it through the skates. Puts the shoulder down, defending number 12. Now they send it down, and that will go that for an ice. Nice. Yeah. And it will be. So going to see a fresh face-off. 14.44 left here in the third. Oh my, dance moves from Michael yes, Shaw. Yes, I like it. Guy does it all. MJ sends it down the boards. Comes out to Q, Q right over to Jimenez. Jimenez, Jimenez. Drags it, gets it out of the corner. Getting harassed, Q sends, steps up. Evan puts a shot on. Goalie kicks that aside and it's gonna go all the way down. And uh, no ice. Now it's in the far corner. I lost the puck there for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Jimenez gets it out of the zone. It comes out to mid-ice. They bounce it back. Ladwig, Clinton Labette stops a rolling puck, trying to get it over to Evan. Evan gets there. Cole Tellis comes in to help out. They do get it out of the zone. They go opposite side and send it right down. And... Cooper wisely puts the pad, puts the glove down. All right, so fresh personnel, it looks like for your Eagles. Going to have a faceoff right to the right of Cooper Robinson here. So kind of a feeling out process here early in the third period. Yeah. Lots of activity. Second period, I'm, Valor was probably happy to have that break and regroup a bit in between periods. Ooh. Momentum shifted for sure. And that second Carter's down for, I don't know what's going on with Carter. A nice save by Coop. Carter is really hurting. Yeah. Something with his yeah. right leg. Not sure if he took a shot or a stick there to an area where he didn't have padding. And see what happened there. Uh, and that's Carter. <laughs> Stays out yeah. there. 
Not going to give up his ice time. Tough kids. Nice save by Coop. Rebound goes in. Mm. Well, Monarch puts it in. That was a good play. Yep. Let's see what happens here. 86 puts a shot on. That was just a good low shot, it looked like. I didn't, do you see anything? This will be a better angle for us here. Dude. Yeah, let's see. Shot, far pad. Just a, got the rebound quickly, and it was a good quick shot. Yep. All right, 3 2 Monarch. 13 23 left here in the third. Cole Campbell. Pass, looking for Brock Benson. This is going to be offsides. Yep. Brock had brought it in. D to D for the Coyotes. Long lob pass and Cole Campbell's gonna have to pick that up wrap around the net lost the handle there for a moment five looking Drew Jenkins had it for a moment now they're trying to bring it up front ooh deflected goes across the crease uh, slot I should say Drew getting that picks it up right over to Cole Campbell looking for that pass across to Harris and that got deflected down Cooper pulling that off the boards for Jack and that goes deflected off a shin pad. Cole Campbell's trying to get that. Brock Benson, McKidu over to A.J. Harris. Harris up to Jenkins. Jenkins had a steam going down the left-hand side. Cuts to the inside. And now two on one against Eddie Chen. Nice play there. And Eddie's just got him on the offside. Yeah. Had to make a play right there at the end. The Monarch player breaking in. Had to make a move at the blue line because Eddie Chen was all over him. And the other forward snuck in front of him, and that caused an offside. So, yep. Good stick by Eddie Chen. Hirschfield on the circle, wins it back to MJ Ladwig. Ladwig to Chen. Chen, Carter Charles, Carter Charles. Lost the handle for a minute, put it across, looking for his brother in the slot. Nice defensive play by the Coyotes. Now the Coyotes come the other way. Six being watched by number, by Eddie Chen, I should say. They send it all the way across. MJ Ladwig battling hard, trying to get it out of his own. Gets it up to Carter. Carter, far side for Maddox. Maddox going down the right-hand side. Cuts to the inside, goes around one. Lost the handle. Eddie Chen takes the body there. Ronan takes the body on 15, and here comes Maddox Charles the other way. Cuts to the inside, goes around. Shot, shot, second shot on there, and Maddox gets it out. And Cole Campbell. Long stretch pass from Cooper to Carter. Cole Campbell bringing it up, chips it forward. Now they're bouncing around. Cole Campbell's stick. Well, that bounced right over Cole's stick. Cole Talis goes in there. Clint Labet out there to help out. Jimenez, this goes high into the rafters and hangs for a while. Just wondering if it was going to come down. 10.52 left here at third. Eagles down a goal. All right. Face off here to the right of Cooper Robinson. Cole grabs that puck out of the melee there. They send it all the way around. It's going to go to the far side. Quentin Labette going in there first. Lucas Scott chips it back down. Now they're in there battling. Cole Campbell, Cole Tallis comes out with it, gets it right over to Evan. Oh, went off his stick for a moment, so. Cole, now they're back in the zone, in the eagle zone. Defensive zone, I should say. Cole Tallis trying to grab that off the the, uh, the yellow stripe there. It's not easy when it's rolling. Tough to handle for sure. Lucas Scott trying to put the body on. 
spun around, and this I will be a nice. Be, they waved it off. It was tipped by. Oh, the really? So, okay. Yeah. Looks like they're going to continue to play here. All fresh bodies for the Eagles, though. Eddie Chen steps up. Comes out to Drew Jenkins. Drew over to Brock Benson. Only got a the blade on it and went forward. Drew picks that up. He has it back. MJ Ladwig looking for that stretch pass over to AJ Harris, but that was intercepted. And they send it back and control in their own zone. This is going to go all the way down. No ice. Jenkins sends it back for MJ. MJ overskated it for a moment, circles back, grabs the puck, drops it for AJ Harris. And Harris looking for Drew. Drew gets it across over to Brock. Brock moving with speed, goes to the outside. Barely lost the handle there. Good defensive play. Brock comes out with the puck. Ooh, looking for Makito. And now Coop will come out and take that behind the net. Nice reverse pass well from Cooper. Well played by Coop there. <laughs> A lot of goalies can't do that. For sure. <laughs> they would just sure. shoot it up here on the same side. So good smart play by Cooper. Makidu goes in there, chips it up the boards, and out MJ uh, Maddox-Charles will have to go chase. And that will be an ice, I would think. They call it off. Ooh. Eddie. They bounce it high off the boards, a spinning puck right in the slot. They get it back to number three. That's I know his name is Trey Chance. Nice save by Cooper, and he goes out there. Good save by Coop there. A little traffic out front. Yep. Let's watch this again. Shot from the top of the circle. High. And Looked like a difficult place right up there around the neckline. Yep. So did a good job. And someone's taking a timeout. I'm not sure who took the timeout. Yeah, but I didn't catch who it was. So 8-12 left here in the third. Valor got a little bit of work to do. See if they can equalize this thing up a bit. Yeah. Well, it can change in a blink of an eye. Absolutely. One mistake. Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, now we have another game tonight. JV is playing mm -hmm. uh, up here at 8.30. 8.30, okay. Yeah. Late start. Yeah. Saturday Night Lights. Right? Just like, <laughs> well, like this one started. Well, sort of a tough decision now. Do you stay, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. I know you have uh, <laughs> sons on both, a son on both teams, so. I'll still make the hour going all the back way home. back home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like do they have a pickleball court out front? <laughs> I mean, you could uh, brush up maybe, spend I, a little time. I and, do not uh, play. I do not play. That's, that's the, a missed opportunity. The pickle think, sport. On your, on your part. I play a little sport called hockey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Only. I've witnessed you play hockey. I think you'd be good at pickleball. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> maybe huh. one sport doesn't work out, you try another. <laughs> All right. Ronan Hershfield's taking the draw. Charles Brothers on the wings, and Maddox will chase this puck that leaked all the way down to the Monarch goalie. Monarch goes D to D. Ooh, Carter almost had an opportunity to intercept close. that. Now they just sent it in, and Cooper will send that. Keep on sending it up the wing. McKidu taking the body. Maddox put that back up towards the hash marks. Taking it around the net. Ooh, Good big save. save. That was off a deflection, too. Great save by Cooper. That's a save of the game right there. That was, that was an adjustment to a really late deflection. Now Ronan. Ooh, just looking for just missed him. Going to be an icing call. Just missed him on that crossing pass yeah. there. Yeah. All right, 723 left here. Monarch with a lot of possession here. I think they would be content just to possess and chew up as much clock time as they possibly can. Yeah. And you saw in that last play, they're creeping down lower and lower. Yep. Yep. Um, so from the Eagles' perspective, that might present an opportunity later. You can leak someone out and send them deep. This goes around, hits the back of the cage. Jackson King. 
Nice pass up to Jimenez. Comes out to Eddie Chen. He's got Lucas Scott going down the other side. Eddie looking for Ooh, Lucas. Nice up. idea. And that was bouncing out nicely. Shot on. Good quick shot. And it's a lot better to play in their zone than ours. Comes out. Lucas Scott had that in his skates. Just bounced off a shin pad to him. Ooh, Eddie almost was able to keep that in. Now Jackson King looking for that pass. Lucas Scott chips it down, goes off the ice, and here comes Connor Politi. Ooh, nice Good play there by in. Connor. Yeah, that was well done. Good hustle. Connor has worked hard on his skating, and it's very evident. Absolutely. <clears throat> that should go down for an icing. Okay. A little breather here, get some fresh legs on the ice, see what they, if uh, your Eagles can make something happen here down deep. 6.19 left. Offensive zone faceoff. Yeah. Not a, bad, not a bad place to start. Absolutely. When a faceoff gets set up here, get some shots on goal, see what you can make happen. Gunnarsson and Politi with Drew Jenkins on the centerman. MJ sends that deep. Gunnarsson going in. Comes out with the puck for a moment. Quentin LeBet out there on D steps up. And goes all the way down. MJ going to have to pick up a rolling puck. Harassed by number 10. MJ just going through. Oh, nice play there by Connor Politi. Just enough body on that to stop that gentleman from uh, having a slot opportunity. Shot blocked by MJ Ladwig. Good play. You know how we feel about uh, block shots. Cam Gunnarsson goes against the boards. Drew Jenkins going to have to chip it forward and go Got chase through. his own. Oh, oh trying to bring it to the past that final defenseman. Cole Campbell picks that up. Long pass over to Cam Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson going down. Cam's already got one goal tonight. Today, I should say. They're looking for that pass. This goes all the way through, and Coop's going to send this all the way out. Ooh, off the glass. Nice play by well Coop. played. Lots of times teams aren't, aren't uh, prepared for that. Ooh, that was a nice pass to the slot. Nice defense by Cole Campbell. Gunnarsson. Oh, what a save by Cooper Great Robinson. Coop. Still loose. Yeah, and now it's going all the way down, and that will be an ice. That's a smart icing play. Get a break here. Baller chasing around in their own zone a little bit here. Need to settle things down a bit. Yep, yep. Monarch skating hard. Yep. Lots of pressure. 450 left here. One back, Jackson King tried to get it over to Eddie. Just squirted through. Now he'll have to go battle in the corner. Gets it out to Maddox Charles at mid-ice. Got his brother trailing. Now his brother picks up this, the puck, goes into the corner. And Good they, D by Monarch. They there. send it out. Yep. That's all they're doing, burning time off the clock. Jackson goes, gets his net, gives it to Eddie Chen. Eddie Chen, oh, goes off Maddox. Shin pad, now they'll send it all the way down. Eddie drops that down over to Jackson. Jackson looking for a pass over to Carter. Carter picks that up. Fakes like he's going to stop, drops it for Maddox. Here comes Eddie Chen, shot on, drops down right in front. Good rebound opportunity there. This is going to go all the way down for an ice. Be nice. Good pressure there. All right, I like that. Yeah, I like, like the that. zone entry. Four minutes left here. Looking for a little jump from your forwards here. Kind of got a press down one. Obviously play smart hockey, but you were trying to stretch the ice out and get some offensive opportunities. And even four minutes left in the game. Yep. Cole Tallis. Quit in the bet. Oh, I love I like that the shot. Quick shot. Yeah. And it was a good save by the netminder, too. MJ circling back, gives himself some time. Quentin Labet circles back himself, gets it across, and then chips it in. Jimenez stays back for a moment. Now he goes and engages in the forward play. Lucas Scott's going to send that out of the zone. Jimenez has it for a moment, chips it forward. But they're just sending it back down. Goes through Quentin Labette, and it'll go all the way back down. No ice.
Jimenez trying to chip it right to Cole Tallis. And you can see the change in strategy. They're just they're not very yep. much interested in offense right now. They're just sending it down. That's going to be an icing call, though. So yeah, they don't want to face do off that. down deep here. I have a feeling that is probably what the Monarch coaches discussed during that last timeout. Again, we don't know who took the timeout. I'm making the assumption maybe it was Coach Gwazdecki. Uh, generally, when you're up a goal, but maybe it could have been Monarch. Maybe just to talk over the strategy. We've definitely seen a different. They're trying to spread the ice out, make long passes. Yep. Make uh, Valor march down 200 feet every time. Yep. So those will be Jenkins taking the draw, trying to win it back to A.J. Harris. Coyotes control. He's going to go all the way. It will not go all the way down, and McKidoo's going to have to go in there. Oh, it is an ice. Call it. That was sort of borderline. He might have been close enough that they were going to wave that off. Yeah, you just yeah. don't know. So. And uh, Coach Gwazdecki is going to pull Cooper. Wow, big pressure here early, 2.56 left. Wow. Uh, he sees something he likes out there, so. so put some pressure on here early. Ronan's taking the draw, probably win it back to Maddox. Goes into the corner, 86 and Carter Charles in there. Ronan Hirschfield puts it down deep, looking for Maddox, comes out to MJ, MJ over to Maddox. Maddox going around. Puts it deep for Carter, right out to, oh, nice play. Oh, Off another. The side of the net. Yeah, nice play there by Brock Still Benson. Loose. Or Hirschfield, sorry. Goes back to the, they try to do the, ooh. And uh, MJ just sends it back in. That'll be off sides. And that's an icing. Most important thing here, you have to get possession and set things up. So winning the faceoff, absolutely vital. Yep, Cooper's and going back possess. in. Could, he saw something down there that he liked initially at 256 when he pulled uh, when he pulled Coop. So yep. going to put Coop back in the net, see if they can generate some opportunities here again. I would, I would not be surprised to see Coop go off the ice at some point uh, as we get a little bit closer to the end of the game here, Dee. Yep, one straight back. Now Cole Campbell has an opportunity, puts a shot on, bouncing puck. Goes on, comes out, kept nicely well in by, by Jack. And that's going to be a penalty on Jack. McKidoo, trip. So, yep. yep. Jack had to make that play right there. He was going to be off to the races. So, yep. that's not going to help the flight with 2.09 left here. Although, we've seen shorthanded goals from this squad many times. Yeah. So, I saw two of them last night on yeah. one shift. Yeah. <laughs> so. Starting to run out of real estate here, but we'll see what happens. 209. Drew Jenkins taking the draw. It's one back. Eddie Chen bounces it off the glass high. Kept in. They send it down deep. Ooh, just jumped over MJ's stick, and now they go and they put it high. Still looking. Oh, nice play there by Eddie Chen. And here comes Eddie Chen. He's got Maddox. Maddox so over to, oh, to Drew. Wow, oh. that seemed like an awfully laid <laughs> offside call. Yeah. All right, well, we didn't, uh, linesman saw it that way, so we're going to have a faceoff come right outside the zone there, see what happens. Yeah. It looks close to us, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. Eddie Chen bringing it across. Shot on. Good nice. shot. I like that. Rebound comes out. Drew Jenkins gets it back to Maddox. Maddox steps around a check and gets the puck back. He gets stood up by Trey Chance. They bounce it out. Drew Jenkins sends that down. Still battling in there. They try to send it all the way down. MJ Ladwig's there. Right out to Maddox. Maddox over to Drew. Back to Maddox. Back to Drew. Goes through and He'll pick that up, puts it right towards the front. Right, goes out of the goal. <laughs> Little extracurricular activity down there in the far corner. Yep.
I don't think anybody's going to go to the box here. Sort of some pushing back and forth. So 104 left on the power, uh, the penalty kill rather, for the Eagles. But we do have a faceoff down deep here. That was gross. Okay, so goalie's pulled here. Face off to the left of the Monarch goalie. 113 left in the game, 104 left on that penalty for Valor. Five on five hockey. Oh, goes to the Carter Charles there. Ooh, bounces out. Eddie Chen's gonna have to get a spinning puck. Go around the net. One minute remaining, Eddie Chen takes it through. Maddox Charles trying to bring it through. Carter Charles waits, gets it by, going down the right-hand side. Gets it to the slot, comes right out. Ooh, just missed on that. Drew Jenkins out there, 42 seconds left. Maddox picks that up, drops it for Drew. Drew right in the snow there by the, the and here comes Carter. Probably looking for his brother, gets it to him. Gets it across. Eddie Chen sends that back in. Now they're coming the other way, 86. Nothing there, 20 seconds left. Drew Jenkins, one last shot here. Brock Benson moving across, gets it across the blue line. Steps around one, get a shot. Shot, save by the goal. That was a good Two shot. Two seconds left in the penalty, so 11.8 seconds. Gonna have a face off down deep. That was a good save. It was a good save. Good shot too. And here's where the Eagles Charles Brothers, Drew Jenkins, Cole Campbell, and Ronan Hirschfield. They can win this draw. Goes back behind Carter, tries to get it right out to the front. Gets it right back to the front. Smart play there, and this will be That's it. That's going to be the game. Well, Monarch played well. 3-2 victory. We appreciate you joining us. Hopefully you'll join us for the JV game later on tonight. Eight, you said it was an 8.30 start game? 8.30. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time at the rink.